Hello, another little video from the Crazy Angry Photographer. I want to make a quick video, and uh, this will be the one video that I call you an idiot if you uh, don't have this. Now, this isn't available in uh, some countries, so, you know, I got no control over that. Um, quick little story. Someone uh, recently told me about uh, knocking over their very expensive Nikon DSLR on the 2470. And uh, 2470 is a fragile little girl. She's a uh, delicate lens. Uh, the lens is 2000 bucks. it's foobard, the camera is foobard, so all in about to half a second, 5000 bucks <whistles> gone out the window. Um, I've seen so much broken gear over the years now, people worry about buying gray market cameras. You shouldn't, it's exactly the same as the USA stuff, and Nikon warns you, well you can't get, get, you can't get service, you can't get support on the camera, you know, if you want to call it, well the fuck, you know. Who needs that? You know, go to any website if you need any tech support. I mean, I'll answer the question. There are 10,000 places where you can get your questions answered if you need tech support. So who gives a damn about tech support? Well, we can't support it. Ni well, Nikon just protecting their fanny. Nikon USA, that is. Um, you can get a camera a whole lot cheaper, like a, a Nikon D750, for example, currently gray market. Uh, sixteen hundred dollars versus two thousand, or I think it's two thousand on sale right now versus twenty one hundred. Same thing with every other current Nikon DSLR. And uh, the other thing is obviously no USA warranty. Well, what's the way around that? Well, if you live in the United States, Australia, I know Australia has a version of it. I'm certain of it. I forget the name of it. I know it exists in Britain as well. Now they sell this crap. I know you're gonna say, well, you made this video already. What are you talking about insurance for you? Well. This is a different ploy. Everybody keeps asking about gray market and lack of warranty. Um, but the point is that if you uh, live in these countries, you shouldn't buy, if you actually type in photography insurance online, you'll get all these great websites that have uh, sell insurance, and they're great, and they will pay off if you have a drop, but you could have it for eight years, and if you make one claim, poof, it's gone, and they all state that. So it's like, well, great, you know, I made a claim, they paid off my broken camera and crap, but now i got to find new insurance. So if you live in the United States, live in Canada, live in Australia or Britain, and some other countries have this, although I don't know what it's called in Britain, and I do know they have it in Australia, but uh, here in the United States, like State Farm, for example, here's my policy just got renewed. I got $16,000 of coverage, $217, uh, 16000 for $217 uh, a year. Covers everything. Loss, drops, thefts, accident, the dog ate it, the dog pooped on it, the baby pissed on it, uh, earthquake, tornado, theft, damage, stupidity. Oh, I had a mental breakdown and I used my camera as a hammer. Okay, it's still covered. Everything is covered. Um, so like a Nikon D810, for example, let's say a $3,000 camera. If you just want to, if you got one camera and one lens, say 5000 bucks, that's going to run you... Um, Somewhere around like $45 or $50. Uh, State Farm Insurance sells it. Um, Farmers Insurance. A lot of places call it. Now you go by two different names. It's all the same crap. No, it's not homeowner's policy. It's a specific personal articles or portables policy. It's called Inland Marine Insurance. Some places call it personal articles policy, regardless of what the hell they call it. It's all the same crap. Zero deductible covers every form of stupidity known to man. So if you buy a gray market camera, you know, who gives a crap about tech support? I mean, you really want to call up Nikon and ask, talk to somebody there that doesn't even know what they're talking about? You know, just log into YouTube or some Nikon fan page, and people there are more skilled than the workers that answer the phones at Nikon, I can assure you that, because they hire some real minimum wage flunkies there, so who gives a damn about tech support? Now, so far as the warranty is concerned, who gives a damn? You know, you save five, six hundred dollars on a camera, you know, buy this stuff. You know, one year of coverage on an expensive camera, the camera only, is thirty bucks. So, say five years of coverage, that's a hundred and fifty dollars for five years of coverage. And Nikon's warranty does not cover loss, drops, thefts, accidents, the dog pissed on it, you know, the dog shit on it, you know, my wife threw it at my head. Um, earthquake, aliens abducted it. I mean, it doesn't cover any of that stuff. And that's, especially I used to do tech support for Apple, and people would buy the stupid, stupid expensive Apple 
Apple Care service. Like, oh, guys, can protect your Apple. Well, no, it doesn't protect your Apple. I mean, it protects warning, manufacturing defects. You know, you spill water on it, you drop it, theft, loss. So, and that doesn't cover any of that crap. People need to understand insurance. Well, I can get insurance. Well, who gives a damn about your warranty or your insurance? Most of the things that happen with photography gear is not uh, manufacturing defect. Obviously, it does happen, but you know all the broken crap cameras I've seen come through the door back in the day, and things haven't changed. Drops, loss, thefts. Oh my God! You know my baby peed on it. I mean, just weird stuff. I left it out in the car. I got rained on, and now it doesn't function anymore. I was shooting out in the rain. Well. Screw it. What about my warranty? Well, screw you. Your warranty doesn't cover that. Why doesn't it cover it? I got a warranty because it only covers manufacturer's defects. Same thing with laptops and all technical electronics, okay? So get this stuff. I've been using it for 20 years. All these tight white millionaires that I know, uh, they've been preaching this stuff to me. They told me about it, you know, decades ago. It's like this is the best thing since sliced bread. Zero deductible, too, you know? Awesome. So, uh, if you live in the United States, Canada, Australia, or Britain, and uh, some few other countries have this, you know, get this insurance. That way you can buy a really cheap gray market camera. Not that this is one. And, uh, you know, who needs tech support? So, you're covered. Oh, by the way, yeah, I got my uh, camera sitting on that super awesome coffee. When the uh, male, uh, male woman delivered it to me, she goes, oh, There must be coffee in there. It smells so good. <laughs> now I need to go brew some because I haven't slept in days. Um, I'm working really hard on the website. I'm kicking my ass on uh, every aspect of it. So, you know, things might go slow here the next few days, but I guarantee you, I mean, uh, and behind the scenes, I'm uploading a lot of content. I'm uploading all my videos. I'm uploading tons of stuff, and uh, content will roll fast. So, um, remember, it's your website too, and uh, whatever you want to write, as far as a web page, I'll throw it up there, just as long as it's not insane and crazy. You could have your own folder with your own stuff in there, so I uh, hope you all like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two or tell me to go screw myself. But uh, don't forget the website. And uh, going to have a, a free uh, tripod giveaway either here on YouTube and have a contest. I've uh, found two other... I don't want to talk about the contest right now, but 